All right, what's going on, guys? I want to talk about Deshaun Watson, right? Co former quarterback for the Houston Texans. Now, <coughs> excuse me, is the quarterback for the Cleveland Browns. Now, he was originally suspended for six games, right? It was a six-game suspension, okay? And that was due to uh, Sue L. Robinson's decision. And, um, you know, I think uh, it was Peter Harvey, who was the former New Jersey State Attorney General. And uh, Roger Cadell, the commissioner of NFL, actually pointed him uh, for this appeal decision and disciplinary actions. And they, you know, agreed, hey, I'm going to do a, do a six-game suspension. That's what Robinson was advocating for. And now it's all over the news as of now. Now we just... Well, that was in the past, but now we just actually got some new real news that Deshaun Watson has been suspended for 11 games. And which is pretty ironic because he's going to come back his first NFL game season, right, since uh, he's been haven't been playing in, in two years um, after this the incident, right? He's going against his former teams, the Houston Texans. And I couldn't even believe it. I was when I was looking at this and watching this, I was like, Are you serious? Like Deshaun Watson's been suspended for eleven games. Now, granted, yeah, he went to court, the judge and all this stuff and a settlement in around April, but they suspended him without pay too. So he's gonna at least be fined about fifty seven thousand five hundred dollars per game. And in total he's gonna Miss over like six hundred thirty-two thousand dollars, man. Uh, the the Cleveland Browns he is, actually issued an apology uh, for the people that was triggered, but and also too he said something very key that hey you know he want eventually to tell his side of the story. And you have this lawsuit with the twenty-five women saying that you know um, S A I can't really say it because of YouTube, but you know what that is a so misconduct and uh, doing his massage therapy sessions, man. And, you know, it was on like, yo, uh, Busby was talking about it, man. And it's just, it's just really bad. It kind of tarnished his image. The thing, the good thing is that he's 26 years old. He still signed with a five-year deal, $230 million contract. Uh, some of that money is guaranteed, like $44 million, And with the Cleveland Browns, so they went all in for him. And, you know, he's supposed to be the starter, but now they don't have Jacoby Brissett. And I have a lot of respect for Jacoby Brissett. Uh, Jacoby Brissett, and he's played for the Indianapolis Colts. He stepped up. He can um, win some ball games. But, man, you know, with Deshaun Watson, I really want to see him get back on that field. But I understand that, you know, the NFL has to do something about this. But I don't want to say they're just doing this and, you know, just being this in because of his skin color. I mean, hey, if he did this, he did this, man. He didn't. To, to anything, my thing is, like, if this really happened... I don't know why these women just now saying something. You know, something had to really be happening under the table. I feel like the Houston Texans organization knew about this the whole time. And I think uh, because his voice wasn't heard, and then you got DeAndre Hopkins went off to the Arizona Cardinals, and you know he pretty much his voice wasn't heard about these uh, about the offense and everything, and all this stuff is just coming out. So I mean, it's it got to be a thorough investigation on this man. I don't think this is all on Deshaun Watson, but hey, you know I'm not condoning if he did this. You know it's right, but at the same time, man, you know, this is really getting kind of comical at this point, man. I'm like, okay, well, next year, you're gonna, just going to do a, a whole season. I mean, you see how he played against the Jacksonville Jaguars. I mean, I know, yes, we understand Link was the preseason, okay? It's not real. It's the, you know, it's really for the backups and everything. But, yeah, he was very rusty. He hasn't touched the ball since, I think, what, March 2020? Yeah, so it's been, it's been going on because this case has been going on since, like, March 2020, man, and the height of that pandemic. But it's, it's going to be very difficult for him. But at least, you know, he still got some money. Um, you know, I think he still can make a great impact. i seen him in the training camp, you know, online. He was signing autographs. and like he having his head straight forward, man, and which is smart. You know, I'm pretty sure his attorneys is telling him and advising him not to go out and just, you know, just say crazy things right now, man. You know, you still got to protect your image. The Cleveland Browns invested in you. They got rid of Baker Mayfield. And now he's going to do his thing in Carolina. And he actually was announced as a starter quarterback. So I can't wait to go ahead and talk about that. But, man, that's just pretty much what I really have to say. I just think it's a little bit, you know, I won't say I'm surprised. But at the same time, it's like, dang, man, like they really booking him on this. They throwing the book at this, man. And I'm just, I just remember reminiscing all the success he had with the Houston Texans, man. I mean, almost went to the Super Bowl with him, man. I think they had a, what, division or AFC conference. Uh, they went against the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, he had a great year. And it's some down years, too. But, hey, man, it is what it is. We're going to see what's going to happen. I know some Cleveland Browns fans out there, too, man. And, um, you know, they're trying to keep their head up. They had, like, mixed emotions with and the whole Odell Beckham Jr. situation with Baker Mayfield and, you know, Deshaun Watson coming in here, too. But, 
<sighs> it's going to be interesting, man. That late game uh, suspension. But, hey, it is what it is. I don't think uh, the Browns, they, I don't know if they're going to go above 500. That's just me personally. But we have to really see what's going to happen, man. And I have a feeling that when he comes back, he's going to find a way to beat the Houston Texans. But, but man, with this situation here with the 25 lawsuit, oh, my God, man. This is hard to let this go. So, we just want to see. But that's just my thoughts on it, man. You guys, continue to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. I'm not going to draw this too long. I appreciate you guys, man. Uh, feels good. Football is back. See how Seahawks playing against Chicago Bears right now in the preseason. And I'm going to have some more Chargers content as well. All right, that's my thoughts. Tell me you guys your thoughts on here with the John Watson. I'm actually posting on my community page. We can have a discussion. Deuces.